Hello! Hi! <laughs> Here we are. It's the Cream City Chronicles. Woohoo! We're on schedule this week. Kind of? Kind of. I thought we were supposed to do it next week. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't know. Well, I'm uh, Kate. I'm the manager at Cream City Yarn. And I'm Nicole. I'm the owner at Cream City Yarn. And we're here to talk to you about what's going on at Cream City Yarn. This and boy, is there a lot to tell you. So much. Just, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> you can't see our table today because there's the trunk show surrounding us. We're surrounded by yarn. That's mm -hmm. why we smile like this. If you saw our there's Instagram. There's no set my cup because oh, there's so much trunk show everywhere. Well, and I kind of invaded your space with Shetland wool. If you saw our Instagram, you'll know that we got a trunk show from Emma's yarn and freaked out a little bit because of all the yarn, because we had it was beautiful. And so many of you have stopped by this last week and checked it out and supported us, and we just thank you. I mean, really, thank you. It it's been amazing to see everybody. We went outside one we went day. Outside. That was fun. Got some fresh air. Uh huh. Stared at all the beautiful construction outside. And uh, it's just been fun. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be here for a couple more days. So through the weekend till yeah. the beginning of next week. So there's still a good amount of yarn here and you can definitely. I'll pack it up Wednesday, shop. August 4th or 5th. Mm -hmm. Whatever the Wednesday is, is the day I scheduled myself to pack it back up. But you can still shop it till then. Um, but let, let me show. Let's show a couple highlights from this show. So, well, first of all, yeah. Well, okay, I'll do this one because it's close. Okay, we've been digging the Hella Hanks. Yes. What? Hella Hanks are so cool. They're huge. The, there's 600 yards on here. 600. That is a Hella Hank of yarn. <laughs> and it's just, there's a little, they have a touch of uh, cashmere in here. So they're MCN base and they're super soft. You could just really. 600 yards. To make a sweater. Easy. Yep. Easy. And they're Easy. only like $42 a skein. So you're still under 100 bucks for a fingering weight sweater. That never happens so to me. You could probably do a sweater and eke out some socks mm, too. I don't know if I could. Shorties. Maybe. For my kids, I love Hella Hanks. Kids socks. <laughs> Hella Hanks are awesome. We've also got a bunch of minis, so that really makes Should things I show fun. Show this later. Yeah. Or show this now. You can show it now. Looks like Emma crept in a little colorway for us. It's Packer yarn. It's definitely Packer. It was a little surprise in there. This is not one of their regular colors. I think it's just for us. Just for our trunk show, and um, Go I pack had up. a couple people ask about because um, last year we had some dyed for us, some specific packer dyed for us, and we had a ton of it. Um, it and it was for fun. the yarn crawl or the birthday party. I, I think it was yarn crawl. Yarn crawl. And yeah, so we had like a big sports theme. So a lot of people were looking for that again around this time of year, um, and there's no yarn crawl, so we didn't get it this year, but my girl Emma popped it right in there, so we have a little bit. And what else do we have? Um, well, we got DK from them, too, DK. and DK minis, so you are doing something with those, and we will talk we'll about it when we're talking about our shame. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the worsted. Um, so we are the first showing the worsted. Emma and Aspen told me that their mom doesn't even have any yet. So it is only available here. Now, come get it. It's super special. You've been so, looking for, uh, if you feel like you haven't been finding Rios lately, if you feel like that's what you probably been, haven't no? because it's not super available right Pretty now. It's kind of hard to get. Uh, this is a great sub in. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, if you like the hand dyed, you know, super kettle dyed wash. looks, super wash, worsted weight. This, you can sub these in with any of the Malabrigo Rios patterns that you, you love. Mm -hmm. And that, that would help if you've been looking. I'm trying to grab some more colors. I, I love wish, one. You, wish you were beer is a fan favorite around here. That's a great one. And there's some that have speckles, and there's some that are more semi-solid. 
I saw a couple of these leave to become, what was it, throwbacks or throwovers by mm -hmm. Andrea Mowry. That's a, that's a fun pattern. Good, good substitution. Good, yeah, good or use base. of a worsted weight. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? I think that's it for the show. I mean, there's um, the minis. So there's the DK. Oh, let's show the samples from the show. Oh, I, I mean, we did, a, we did an Instagram live for that. Yeah. No, I mean, this That's true. Forever. Oh, and then, okay, so let me just, I'm going to have you peek at these minis because I've decided that my new favorite hobby is just playing with minis and putting together. So we've got a big bunch of DK minis and... It's like the hand-dyed superwash version of Jameson. Yes. <laughs> Little and fun to play with. <laughs> um, I wanted them to send... Lots of minis with the show because whenever I'm ordering, I always forget about minis and then it seems like we never have enough around. So this was a great chance to just have a whole bunch of minis that you can play with. Ultimately and led me to job. casting on a new sweater. You did. I yeah. even did something in the minis. <laughs> That's how excited I was. You infected me with your mini I spirit. Love minis. And I even knit something in the minis, which I will show you later. <laughs> There's so much to talk about when I it's just everything we talk about is just leading me to something else. Yes. <laughs> so I got to I got to keep to the agenda here. Um so something else, some some more Emma's. Um Emma did Emma and Aspen did some kits for us for the Sharon show Mystery Knit Along, which looks like a ton of fun. Seems like there's lots of people participating. Yeah, which is really it's exciting. It's all around the country and I'm I love when this is going to be a Steve. really fun knit along because I bet you Casa Pinka will be super active in the chat groups on Ravelry. And so will Sharon the social cat. social media. <laughs> and Sharon from security. That's so cute. Um, who apparently is issuing citations and all kinds of fun stuff. So we have this, um, this kit. I like this one because it kind of looks just like the, uh, the graphic for... Yep. The Sharon Show. And if you buy the kit on our website or in our store, you get a fun little project bag to go with it. So it's like you get your house. mystery bag to go with it. This is, there's only one left of this one. So, and this base, right, um, um, we also normally don't carry. So this is just available in the kit. This is the Splendid Single. Then we have this color combo too. They're oh, really pretty. Yeah. I like, and didn't Casa yeah. Pinka work with the dyers to tell them uh -huh. how to give your, make the best outfit? She put out a lot of information on picking the colors and she um, looked at all the colors that the dyers picked and I think kind of, I don't know, like approved them or whatever. Cause once she did that, you could, you could put a link in mm -hmm. her stuff. Well, that's kind of to nice the, too because it to gives the shops you shops and the dyers that have kits. Yeah, if you're if you're new to mystery knit along, it kind of gives you a little more reassurance that the colors are going to mm -hmm. work out and that things are going to play nicely because sometimes it doesn't. And it yeah. makes you sad. So and I think Sharon helps. from security is really strict about the colors that you're using. That cat. So I think you have to have <laughs> some very approved she colors. Knock that off. <laughs> <laughs> She's a mean. She's the mean one. She reminds me of uh, when I worked at a big box retailer and we had the LP department. She really reminds me of one of my LP people that I worked with. All right, what's next? And then what's we've got next? more kits. We've got things um, happening. You know what? I didn't grab any dapple. Did we show? I'm wearing dapple. You're wearing dapple. Let's cut it off. So we got a restock of all of our dapple. Cause that just, um, the launch happened and um, then it was gone. So now it's back. Now it's back. And I, just in time for me to finish my sweater. Just I know I was time. trying to finish it at the launch, but I'm well, a disappointment. We ran out of yarn anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> but now I have it, and I love it. The This pattern is the Lady Fingers sweater by More Thunder. So cute. She is just, it's just a cute little top. I mean, you're wearing another More Thunder. We're mm -hmm. both wearing More Thunder today. <gasps> We're More Thunder twins today. Yay. Oh, I hope she sees us. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah, fun little summer patterns that use DK weight yarn. They're they're great. I highly recommend this pattern. 
Mm-hmm. And, and the dapple's interesting. I don't think we didn't show it on the last podcast, but it's interesting because it is got a very hand dyed feel to it. So yeah, very um, different the colors. dye takes it's it's a wool and cotton blend. So the dye takes the wool differently than the cotton. So depending on what skin you get, you might get a lighter skin, you might get a darker skin, you might get a very variegated yeah. skin, and they would they're the same dye lot. So it's just the way the fiber falls. And that's why I put it in stripes. And that's what makes it fun. It, it makes it fun, but also I don't have to worry about if I had to change this in the middle of a, a stripe or if I had to mix it up, you wouldn't see the changes. But like this stripe is, my mother's, it's gonna get inappropriate. This stripe, <laughs> this stripe is the same. So you can see that it's darker. I can mm -hmm. see it in the, the picture that's darker, but these are from the same ball, the same stripe. So mm -hmm. this is the beginning of the ball. And by the end of the ball, is in this darker stripe, which I think is super cool. And mm -hmm. I like that I I could just kind of break it up like that. And mm -hmm. It helps incorporate all the things. Because I wasn't so sure. I wanted to have... It's super fun for color invisible. work or for fading or for creating an ombre. Or you can just be really particular and try to get it's a great matching UK. skeins too. If that's the way you want to go. But, um, Dapple. but it is interesting and it's fun to knit with. Super nice to knit with. <laughs> okay, let's have air hugs. We've got a new sample in store. Thanks, Claudia. Thanks, Claudia. So um, I went a few years ago, I went to... You had some retreat, weren't you? Yeah, the Zombie Knit Apocalypse. There's so many different names. The Zombie Knit Apocalypse in Rochester, Minnesota, and one of them, I met and hung out with one of my sister's friends, Shana Cohen of Shana Lines Designs, and um, she's like a regular at the retreat. So she designed the she's shawl cool for this retreat. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. We have other samples coming from her too, but they're not finished. Don't look at me. I'm not Stay tuned. Till I actually get um, done on time. So she designed. <laughs> this shawl for that retreat which obviously couldn't happen this year um so we grabbed some kits for it and Claudia knit us up a cool sample of it it's super simple and makes really good use of two full skeins it's beautiful it's awesome it's called air hugs did I say that I don't know but yeah so we got some kits from Queen City Yarn they coordinate they coordinate so this one is meant to be I and like that one. yeah and this is what um Shayna did hers in hmm. so if you look at the pictures um chocolate chocolate chip and graphite and this one is that's really pretty high tide and beachy vibes that'll go well with jeans yes it would this one would go well with jeans <laughs> maybe your jeans <laughs> I like contrast. I jeans. like the bright. No, I'm just, I don't know if that I'll be like, oh, yes, remember. jeans. Sugar high. <laughs> sugar high and showgirls. And then the, the sample neutral. was done in medium roast and frolicking with friends, which was also in my sweater. That's such a great color. Yeah. It's great. Um, and I'm on a mission to revive Wisconsin with brown. So I had to get some brown in there. Um, and also the cool thing is... Um, this kit comes with this cute little QR code. Dude, don't scan it on the TV. Buy the kit. Um, and it has suggestions for other two color patterns. Oh, cool. So if you just like the kit, maybe maybe this shawl isn't your jam, you can, they have other suggestions for this kit on there too. That's really neat. Which I thought was pretty cool. I like how they're packaged together like that. I know, they're, they're buddies. They are. Like and then we also buddies. got all these colors in single skeins too. So maybe you like graphite and frolicking with friends, you can buy them individually Or maybe too. you wanna make a Panglossian or a Ladyfingers and like me. just grab some DK weight yarn. Or you need DK weight, <laughs> who knows? Either way, we've we got some options. Maybe you just need some DK weight. We have them in single skeins too. Um, Let's see. So the sale area, it's nice and full. We had a great yard sale. We the other had a yard sale. That was fun. So we got our. We sale. don't like being inside all the time by ourselves. 
I like <laughs> being outside because then we can have a few more customers well, we come got around. New chairs, so we want to be out there. <laughs> we get to be outside. We can cat call the road construction people. They like us respectfully. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't really cat call them. That would be wrong. But we're very interested in their heavy equipment. Uh huh. <laughs> we don't know what any they of those things like do. They have like this cool saw that just like saws concrete, and it was really fun to watch. Obviously, Nicole's favorite. Mm-hmm. Kate wasn't here that day. She had a text, but me it was it. really fun to watch. <laughs> she texted me. That's how impressed she was by this concrete cutting machine. I got a picture and a text. <laughs> um, but yeah, so road construction is not that bad. It was bad for one day. We had to close for one day because we couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, it's pretty open now. And I think with the notifications that I get, it seems like a lot of it happens overnight not necessarily during business hours so and it, it's a pain not to come up the way you usually do but as long as you're flexible and brave you can get here it's easiest to approach from the east mm -hmm. so that's my recommendation um i come from but, the west so i get a little rerou rerouted mm -hmm. every once in a while but not bad not bad no. just have to go around um so what's coming up so some things that we're planning mm -hmm. Some fall stuff, um, so we'll be getting in like some Halloween themed self strikers, yarn, pumpkin hats. Of course, our pumpkin hats are coming. They'll be back. Of course, we know you love them. This year, provided by Emma. <laughs> Emma's yarn is gonna help us make some pumpkin hat kits because Malibu go again. Hard to get. Hard to get. So when it's mm -hmm. easy to get again, we will get more of it. We're not done with it, but for the purpose of kits, we gotta lean on Emma a little bit more. Plus, she's done so much for us. Let's get her some pumpkin kits around around Wisconsin. Um, what else? There's another. I guess I can't really talk about this one yet. I better wait on this one. I must skip this one. Oh, Jeez. Emma also has a new color coming out called school loans because she graduated high school so the proceeds from this color will go to her cosmetology school it's really fun she's going to Paul Mitchell can you imagine what she could do with hair color I feel like I'm a little I'm excited about I will right when I'm ready to travel and Emma's finished with cosmetology school we might have to find out where I she am works. going all the way to Florida to have her if she can color. do if she can do like <laughs> This to yarn, could she do it to hair? What if she could speckle my hair? I want to see it. <laughs> if decide. anybody could do it, it'd be Emma. <laughs> so that'll be fun. But we um, are going to get that color. Yep. So we're definitely getting her school It's cute. Color. It's really neutral. I really like it. Mm -hmm. Speckles. Fun. And it comes with a little uh, Love and Leche bar. So it'll be super cute. Wisconsin hand cream season is coming back. Yep. It's going to get cold soon. And we're also nice working hands. on planning our virtual classes. So mm -hmm. um, we're going to try out a couple virtual classes, see how it goes, and we'll add more if it's going well. So be on the lookout for those. It's going to be two sweater classes. We're that working we'll on bringing start with more Zoom like knit nights back. Yep. Took a little break. It was summertime. Mm -hmm. Now coming back into it because we can see that this is going to continue. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> And, ooh, Nomadic Knits is coming in soon. The new issue is based on Michigan. This is the Grocery Girls one. Yes, the oh. Grocery Girls are featured in this issue. There's a cool sweater pattern from Laura Dobratz in who, this issue. If you and, know who Laura Dobratz is, she's Emma's mom. Mm -hmm. so that's why we talk about her a lot. Mm -hmm. Get a whole family package. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, okay, so she's got a sweater pattern in there. And if you buy, so this will be in my next email. You can pre-sale the Nomadic Knits, or it might be in by the time I get the next email out, we'll see. But either way, it comes with a free cowl pattern so you can swatch for the sweater. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's neat. I mm -hmm. like that. So start picking out your DK for the sweater mm -hmm. and the cowl, and we'll have pre-sales up soon or sales or something. More soon. things to do. It's coming. And it's oh, so it's a Michigan based uh, the nomadic knits because there's always like an area or a state 
affiliated affiliated with each issue. So that's Michigan, which I'm from Michigan. So of course I'm totally into this issue. We asked them to do one on Wisconsin. What did we say they could call it? I don't remember. It was something about cheese. The cheese issue. <laughs> yeah. Good old They're fashioned. Right. They'll be here soon. I, I think can, they should I just feel it. Throw cheese out and go with just old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long winter. We're gonna need more old fashioned with cheese and brandy slush. <laughs> yeah. So Jameson, uh, we, I, I picked a ton of colors, and it was this one. blue. I got. Okay. Look at this. Let me see that up close. Can you see that? It's not doing it justice. It really isn't. It's got like a million colors in it. It's such mm -hmm. a cool yarn. It's nice. Um, we've got. I, I had a lot of requests for blues, so now you, if you say anything about blue. <laughs> <laughs> They're all here. <laughs> They're, I know. I got this one. I got this one. It's like a teal. I got a sea glass blue. I got another purple. I got a lighter pink. The only color, oh, and orange. You were waiting on that one, too. Nope, right? these two were here. Oh, okay. I was gonna, this is for dreaming. Um, orange, mm. like a good orange, not just a orange in the family kind of thing. So we've got lots of bright colors now, lots of fun colors for our little paint box of, of Jameson. Um, what else? Oh, and we did get a restock of a lot of neutrals. So we got black and navy and white, and then- Riverstone. Riverstone Heather, which people are number two, shade two. Um, what else? Gray and- Black. Not just said black, white. And oh, and we couldn't get 202 yet. They weren't finished with it. So I got 1A, which is like a step off of white, which is really nice. So there's lots of white options. I know that we were looking for those for Katie's Caps, and now you can do more. The other thing, I mean, the reason I have these over here is because I am dreaming about, I've talked about it the last podcast. I know. Fair Isle I'm Sunrise by Tracy Doxy, who is a delightful woman. Again, I love her on Instagram. She's so nice. I'm hoping we can work something out with her so she can do like a Zoom meeting with us mm -hmm. so you can meet her, uh, which would be fun. But I want to do a Fair Isle Sunrise, which it would be like a black and white hat with, I was thinking maybe these two together. Still you do all like, my picks. Well, you can have like a nice uh, you can pick And like first. these two together. Although she did like a purple. Haven't quite decided, but I was playing with these. Ooh six today. I was thinking that was nice. We'll see how that is. But Jameson restock. So fun. <laughs> travel, travel with your knitting needles. You can't <laughs> travel with your body this year. Uh, what else? You're, you're working on things. Finished objects. Yep. Oh, we're doing finished objects. I have two. Did I show my paint last hand yet? You did. Oh. You don't get to count that one. I don't get to count it. Okay. I'm counting this one. I've it's finished. It. Yeah. This is the, I've talked about it. It's Lady Fingers, More Thunder. You've seen it all the way. Dapple. You've seen it through its entire knit, <laughs> through its knit journey. And then, this is my other finished object. I only have one. It's so cute. So we, I used, this is the Beloved hat by Tin Can Knits. There's lots of babies coming up in my life. Not my own, but my family is having children. Not, not mine. <laughs> um, but there's babies, so I always like to send them off with a little sweater and a little hat. I kind of figure new grandmas want to do the blankie knitting, and that's fine with me. <laughs> I don't want to knit blankies all the time, but I'll happy, I'm happy to knit a little hat and a sweater and hand it to the new baby. Um, I found, I figured out that I could be, I could use these DK minis from Emma's yarn. Two of these equals one baby hat. And they're like six. I love minis. They're like six bucks. So the maybe the baby hat costs like twelve dollars. Not that it matters, but instead of buying like a whole skein of DK weight yarn to just kind of put a little pop in a hat, you're done. And you can make more colors. So like I, I had more babies I didn't knit for, so I grabbed a bunch of these. So tempted to play with all the minis. I, all I like it. Show them your minis. You've got minis. Okay. Well, that's a whip. That's a whip. Oh, okay. Sorry. You fell into the mini jar too. I love mini jars. Okay, so I have my empowered cowl done. I like that one. It's yeah. a good purple. It is a good purple. Little stash. And that's doubled up fingering weight or yep. DK? Well, I doubled up fingering weight, but the pattern is DK. 
which yeah. you can be like me, or you can follow a pattern. And there's purple yarn around. Uh -huh. We've got lots of purple yarn. Yeah. Free, well, that was fun. Free quick, pattern. Quick, easy. It's cute, fun. I could have made it. I didn't realize how big I made it because I just did it till I ran out of yarn. But I could have made it a little shorter so it could go in my hair. I like it as a comb. I oh, well. It all works. It's fine. All right, finished uh, objects. Other finished objects. My Once again, Nicole has a pile. Kate does not. <laughs> you did. The, I did a bunch of little stuff and stuff that I had already started. See the person too. holding a sweater. <laughs> well, I started this a while ago. My sweater is done. It's so pretty. Oh, it's soft. It's pretty. It's fuzzy. I got impatient with my sleeves. I wish that I would have made them longer. We can always rip out and keep going. I can, but I'm not going to. Just deal with it. It's a finished object now. There's no turning back. I said it's done. <laughs> There's no turning back. If I turn back, I'll knit a whole nother Sorrel sweater because the pattern was really fun. And this is finished. My little sister's dress. I just need a button for it. So cute. As a little baby dress. Just needs a little button right here. Cute buttons right there, actually. It is small. You whipped that out really fast. It's fun. I've done like three of these. It's like a great little baby gift. I like it. I might have to knit one. I could do a matching hat like you. Oh, that is so, cute. so cute. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so the cuteness is too much. <laughs> and then my hug shot. Ooh. I'm like, I need sunglasses for this thing. I, um, yeah, so my fun color that I love is No Flash Photography by Emma's, but I decided that I'm changing the name. Sorry, Aspen and Emma. It's now called Pal's New Tennis Ball. Because <laughs> Pal does not like it when I knit this yarn. Because it's all like in a ball and it, <laughs> it looks, looks just like a tennis, tennis ball. ball. So, it's funny. yeah. It's, it it's really not, cute. It's very bright. It does not match my outfit. It's not. This will probably be a sample for a little while and then I will probably give it to my oldest son. My youngest son did not appreciate it at all. Oh, your your oldest he whips, whips. You wanna go first? Cause you have the minis. Yeah. And they're cute. I tripped and fell. Cast on a sweater. <laughs> that I had been meaning to for a while. You finished a I, lot. I like this sweater and Kate said that she was surprised that I didn't knit it. I did <laughs> so me. I truly was surprised that you hadn't knit it yet. <laughs> This um, sweater is the Camaro by Tannis Lavoli. Isn't it cool? So you. <laughs> um, so, and of course I love playing with minis. So this is my first four colors. And then it goes into just add salt and some blues. And then my main color will either be a black or a brown. I'm excited. I have to. I'm excited to see. I was planning out a whole bunch of sweaters and then I was like, oops, I'll just cast this on. I was trying to be good and I worked on my my brother's vest I have not worked on, so I'm not pulling it out. Uh, <laughs> but I did work a little bit on my Yoki Doki. I'm in the last bit of color work here before the big sleeve change. I'm excited about that. And then I knit that baby hat. And uh, one of our customers, Zoe, came in Friday and she was wearing this really, really cute sweater. And she was like, oh, I test knit this. The pattern is available online. So I went to the pattern page and at that time the pattern was 30% off. And I was like, Shh, I'm not gonna cast it on, but I'll just buy the pattern. I'm not gonna cast it on. Then I started looking at the pattern and I was like, well, I do have some Jameson and Smith just languishing in my basement. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for. So, <laughs> oops. oops. Okay, oops. so in my defense, it's on a size eight, so it goes really <laughs> fast with Jameson. So it's fingering weight on a size eight. And now that I'm through this little lace panel. What's that pattern called again? This is called Willa by This Bird Knits. And I'll it's post a picture nice. in the thing with it. It's really easy. It's super cute. It's just a, again, short sleeve, oversized though. So it's more like a roomie. 
And um, I'm gonna make it a little more cropped than I usually do because it's so big. And you can put like a flowy tank underneath it. That'd be super cute. Yeah, I'm gonna wear it like a poncho more because mm -hmm. it's like it's it's like 15 inches of positives. It's huge, but with how like drapey this is, I can see it being really nice. Mm -hmm. And I want it to look like Zoe's. Thanks, Zoe. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks, Zoe. <laughs> but actually, really thank you. But um. I, I, I'm really cruising on this thing. I'm almost with the sleeves on this, and I don't see why I shouldn't finish this. And it's quickly. brown. And it's brown. I do love brown. I have a dirt <laughs> color problem. I love all things that look like dirt and trees and moss. <laughs> so that's, that's why, like, this is very bright for me. This is, I don't know if you've seen all my other things, but this, sometimes I'll do, like, a dirt color family and then a bright yolk, but, <laughs> or a... I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's actually called dirt colors, but I like them. It's earth colors. It I reminds me of the dirt. <laughs> like, a little less offensive. I like sand. <laughs> I like dirt. I'm a, I, like, I like moss. I like trees. <laughs> but that's what I'm working on right now. I probably, I've got to cast on another one of those little bonnets because there are two babies in my life in August. I got to get those in the mail. Don't want them to have cold head in August. Probably won't get out until September. But that's that's my goals right there. Well, I pulled out an old Lopi sweater, I know you did. but I did not bring it with me, so I can't show that. But I also just wanted some. You are making my Packer heart potato sing. Potato chip knitting. So I cast on the. I don't know how to pronounce this. If it's buddies or booties or buddies or whatever, Buddice. but it's B U D I S by Laura Dobratz, and this is just gonna be a scarf. And so I just kind of did some Packer colors. Where's um, the trunk show one? So you can show them. Is that one? Is it hanging? Oh, it's over there. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I'll show you the finished one. But the Packer one, I might steal this to take it to games with me. Not this year, though. And I'm by no means a huge football fan, but... Such a cute color. I, I like to be a Wisconsin girl, so I'm, I'm gonna need some gear, right? So this is the um, finished. It's all garter stitch. It's all garter stitch. Knit on the bias. Knit on the bias. So what size needle are you on? Eight. Eight goes fast. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. It's yeah. Cast on what is it, sixty stitches. You can do it in fingering weight too, and then you cast on eighty stitches. Um, but it's really cute. I mean, for a nice little super scarf. simple scarf, I think it'll be a great sample to kind of have in the store for like a next project after you learn to knit. Mm -hmm. That'd be a really good one. Because mm -hmm. you just, you learn increases, you learn decreases, and that's and all you do. Other knitting. than that, it's knitting. So yeah, I like it. It's cute. It'll be cute little, it'll look cute with like a gray Packers t-shirt. Aww. I'm gonna be so festive. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on when I'm watching Packer games, but I can look cute. I, I know you're a transplant to Wisconsin, <laughs> but it fits me right in the old fashioned I've never heart. Been a, a football. <laughs> My cheese heart is crying. I like the aura <laughs> and I like the food of football games. So I'm here for the snacks and. Whereas I'm a season ticket holder and I bleed cheese. So I believe <laughs> I, you. I, I believe Packers. you that the Packers are great. <laughs> They're fantastic. <laughs> Born and bred Packer fan. All right, everyone. I think that is enough from us. <laughs> and we will see you at our next podcast. Or stop by. Maybe we'll stop, stop by. by. Well, this won't come out till tomorrow. But I was going to say, we'll probably take the trunk show out again. Tomorrow, we'll probably find another reason. Shop the trunk show before it goes back. Yeah. Um, hit that up, and we'll have a bunch of new stuff after it leaves. So we'll find another reason to go outside and put up the tables and hang out, knit outside. You can always find a reason to go outside. It's delightful outside. Now mm -hmm. it's not so super hot. It's just mm -hmm. moderately hot. Fall knitting is upon us. It's off. I want it to be so. cold so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.